Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Jojo's Bizarre Adventure Stone Ocean episode number 10. Okay, the previous episode we met a new stand user, um, Mirya Sean. Her stand's name is Marlin Manson and she, like you know her stand acts kind of like a debt collector but instead like you know like your act your conscience actually acts as a debt collector so which i guess which kind of makes the stand a little bit special because you cannot trick your conscience you know you can probably trick others but you cannot trick your own conscience it will always be truthful so that kind of makes it a lot dangerous but at the same time this stand was kind of a little bit difficult to use because uh, you know it does not have any physical like you know power or something if you actually go and directly confront the stand user she probably can't do anything she has to trick you into like you know playing a bet and that's how what Mirashan did she like you know kind of played uh, bets with uh, gambled with uh, both uh, Jolene and Hermes and then like you know again like a fight uh, bet with Jolene and Foo Fighters as well uh, in the end, she was defeated by uh, Jolene's quick thinking and, you know, like the thing that she did in the end, she used the police officer, uh, the guard, the prison guard, not police officer, the prison guard to actually trick Mirashan into thinking that, yeah, like she has lost, but at the same time, she had not lost because she used her stand power to stone free to get back the ball. And that was really well done, you know, like she, like, you know, the way she utilizes her stand in so many interesting ways. It's always like such a great, like, you know, amazing thing to see, like the way she'll use it the next time, how, what she'll do next time and what, like, you know, more weird stuff can she come up with this stand because her stand is very versatile. I'm talking about Jolene. Her stand is very versatile and you can probably use it for doing a lot of things which we probably can't even imagine like <laughs> like ooh, yeah like i'm really like I'm, I'm really glad that she has a stand like this and she not like you know obviously she is strong she's powerful you know like in cl close combat but like, i'm glad that she actually like you know actively uses her brain in each and every fight you know like i, I don't think there has been any fight where she basically fights uses her physical strength no all the fights were in, that she has been involved in was something there was something that she did you know using her intelligence and i'm really liking that i'm really glad that it is something like that like not straightforward fights but like you know fights with um you know use which involves your intelligence and you know like the versati uh, versatility of your stand uh the way the way you can make more unique stuff with your stand i'm really liking that so yeah let's get started with this episode uh what this let's see what this episode is about we're almost at the end uh, i plan on ending this reaction within this week uh, i'll probably upload three episodes this is the first episode episode 10 11 and 12 tomorrow and the day after and i'll finish it like that so let's just get started so yeah uh i'll be putting the subtitles and the timing here sync it to whichever is your preference and let's start Okay, here's the countdown. Three, two, one, go. <clears throat> oh. <laughs> yeah we also need to do that because jo jotaro is dying without any stand like he ne you need to keep his body okay oh my god i was just talking about this in the previous episode there you go Oh boy. This character design is quite, quite nice. <laughs> uh, okay, um, I was just talking about this, you know, in the previous episode in the end, I just said that, wait, can she, Jolene just be able to, uh, like, you know, see the identity of Pucci because, you know, like, um, Mirashan was with Pucci and she knows who he is 
like and the disc kind of came out i was like can she just take it and put it in his head and in her head and just you know get all the secret information and here we go in this episode they answered my question he already removed his like you know his portion of the of mirashan's memory so yeah it, it doesn't matter <clears throat> All right. Operation Savage Club. Oh, damn. Yep. Here's your gum. Oh. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> yeah, she's rich now. <laughs> My god. <laughs> Premium service. <laughs> okay. Probably contacting the Speedwagon Foundation. Hmm. There you go. Hmm. Okay, that should do it. Hopefully. Okay, who are they going to? Who's this? Professor? Oh. A random guy? Okay. That can look suspicious. Oh. There you go. So she, he is in liquid nitrogen or something. He's been preserved. Uh, well, yeah, obviously, because. Hmm. My God, that that soft drink can is very suspicious. Okay. Yeah, I was thinking, like, she's just talking about it. Oh, boy. Hmm. Courtyard. Okay. Oh. Twenty minutes. All right. That's um. Really. Okay. No. 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 Okay. So yeah, you so basically he means that yeah, you you are responsible for your own life. Boy. Yeah, exactly. Savage Guardian. Okay.
Yeah, I was thinking. <coughs> okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, yeah, there you go. That should help out. <laughs> now Julie is all like, you know, she, she has so much money. She can just bribe anyone she wants to now. Oh, wait. What? Then why do you throw it? Wait, what? Wait, what? Whoa, what type of uh, ability is this? Who is what? Wait, wait, whoa. wait, is that? Oh, for a moment, I thought that was Diablo. <laughs> yeah, he like <laughs> sleeping in the piano. <laughs> For a moment, I thought that was Diablo. My God, I was like, "What is he doing here? Isn't he supposed to be <laughs> ghost of a room?" Oh, okay. I was thinking. All right. Building itself is a ghost. Okay. Okay. Oh, that's why. Ghost of the room. <coughs> ghost of the room, music room. So this is a place where we are in the past. I was able to materialize the ghost of objects. Oh, interesting. Wait, what? Wait, what? Then how does he feel his... Oh, okay. I, oh, thank God. Okay, yeah, okay. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Ghost items. Hmm. Who is this? Weather weather forecast, weather report. Weather what? <laughs> oh, really? Okay. No memory. Six year sentence. Wait, oh. That's why we're the report. Huh, maybe. Okay. All right. Hmm. Uh. Born a stand user. Whoa! That's a cool stand. <coughs> oh, 
Oh, stand name. The name of the stand is also weather report. Okay. Whoa! My God! Oh my God! This guy's talented. <laughs> wow. <laughs> uh. Don't notice him. Ooh. Wait, who the hell is this? Whoa, this is a new character, isn't it? Uh, wait, I, I wasn't able to read that. Went so far. Whoa! Suction cups in... Okay. True. Yeah, we need... And we need to go there as soon as possible. 20 minutes. Yeah, true. Whoa! Wait, what? Something happened. Okay, that thing that was in got attached to Jolene's leg. Oh wow, the ghost of the okay. Kind of like sticky fingers, a little bit. Yeah. Wow, so long distance, my God. <laughs> okay. Fifty. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. Oh my god. Hmm. Then I think. Oh. Uh, I was wondering why was he actually helping. You know, Jolie now. Oh my god. I knew something was up with the. With the soft drink. Whoa! Is this weather reports power? <laughs> What's up with the cola? Oh my god, it's the enemies. Oh. Yeah. Oh, great. <laughs> Wait, what? Come on, Jolene. Yeah, this is the enemy stand. Oh no. Uh, 
Yeah, it is the enemy stand. What the? Zero gravity or something? Yep. <laughs> Where? Oh my god. Yeah, it's like zero gravity. Wow. Balls and... Oh! Okay, okay, okay. That's what's happening. Yeah, 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 that one. And then he touched, then she touched the boots. Okay, okay, makes sense. Oh my god. Yeah. Oh, this is weather report. Oh no. Oh no. Okay. Oh my god. Oh no, he got it. No, 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 no. Oh. Wait. Wait, what's happening? Oh, you cannot destroy the disk. Oh, that's a, oh my god, I realize now what that was actually. It's like a makeshift. Wait, okay, so he was able to hear that. Whoa. Jumping Jack. Okay. Oh. Oh. Okay. Resistance to deflect the enemy's attack. Wait! Centrifugal force. It's weightless. Okay. Oh! Wait! Eight hundred. Oh, my God. Ooh. Yeah. <clears throat> Okay, he's trapped. So, oh boy.
Oh, can she use his weather report to do something? Okay. Whoa! Oh my god. Oh boy. Okay, a lot of things happened here. Um, first of all, we need to understand what the actual stands, like, you know, the abilities are. Um, Jumping Jack, I think that was the name. Uh, his ability is whatever the thing he touches, it becomes zero gravity. And if someone touches that thing, it, it kind of, like, you know, like spreads to that person, something like that. So, that's why when, you know, she, he's fit in Jolene's boots at the beginning nothing happened because you know the but shouldn't the boots be zero gravity at that moment shouldn't she start floating or something I don't know she was kind of running normally after that or maybe he did not activate his stand at that moment maybe that was it you know so anyways so when you know when she was bribing the officer uh, she touched her boots by saying that oh like this you know like there's a hole in it and then she touched the like you know the other like you know things is that how it went yeah i think so i think that's why everything started floating or something most probably so that is jumping jack's power while weather post uh, power is using weather you know like any type of atmospheric condition or something okay that's it to manipulate the weather and that's just it and they can do quite a lot of things with it okay first of all let's uh, talk about this you know like one after the other um <clears throat> first of all we get to see that jolene uh finally gets his chance uh, her chance with the phone <laughs> and she talks with someone from the speedwagon foundation um who is probably like a minor character i'm guessing uh and they like you know they have arranged to go to the courtyard within 20 minutes and <clears throat> take the disc you know like bring the disc with her and transport it out so that jotaro could be uh like you know the disc could be on your uh, used on jotaro now like i kind of thought like maybe they took him and put him in like you know a preserving facility or something somewhere uh liquid nitrogen or like, you know some like you know something to preserve his body otherwise it like you know like it wouldn't make sense that i'm sure quite a few days have passed after jotaro lost his um you know stand so he would have started like you know started to rot so before that the speedwagon foundation took uh responsibility and just you know like arranged everything put him into like a uh, cold storage or whatever to preserve his body so that's good now <clears throat> okay so they arranged that within 20 minutes they need to go there <laughs> that cola <laughs> that cola can was very suspicious from the beginning you know the way <laughs> they were kind of zooming in on that so i knew something was going to happen with the can and it did happen in a way in the end uh you know like obviously it was not that same cola can but still something but anyways um that's something different okay um so <clears throat> now we meet with emporio weather report and another person who we don't know who looks like diablo a lot and okay so now another thing we need to know here uh, and you know like let me just go to that part again what is actually emporio's ability okay um ghost of the room okay i need to check that portion when he was drinking the okay okay i've been able to materialize the ghosts of objects that's my stand ability all right but i can only use them so even this chocolate bar and this orange juice I can't consume them. Wait, so 
Oh, okay, I understand. It took me a while to actually understand what was happening. Those were the all right, all right. Those were the 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 juice and the um chocolate bar. Those were stuff from the past, or like it's like a ghost, ghost type of an entity. That's why he said that I can I can try to consume them, but it won't work. Uh, but I do taste them. You know, it, it's kind of like, you know delicious, but you know it it, it wouldn't fill my uh, belly like i wasn't able to understand like when i was reacting like you know i wasn't able to understand i was like wait a minute so how does he eat like, you know he was saying something like that and then now that i'm watching it again i realized he cannot consume that because those are ghosts of the past uh he can probably consume normal he can obviously consume normal stuff which is from the present but from the past that was from the past like for a moment i forgot that the things that he were eating were from the past so I was like, wait a minute, so he doesn't eat? Like, what's up with that? <laughs> now I realize what it is actually. Okay. Um, so yeah, so he can obviously, use, so basically this means, this means he can use the things, but like, you know, like it, it, it won't work out the way it works out, I guess, because he can consume it, he can taste it, but it won't fill his belly. Like, because those were just the ghosts of the past okay so something like that i guess like he, he can physically grab them but like you know it won't work as intended i think maybe like i'm i'm I, we need more clarification with his power i'm sure we'll get to know more about his ability as time goes on as the episodes go on and yeah but for now i can like, you know, kind of vaguely understand what his stand ability is so it's interesting like you know he can like as, as i said like from the in the beginning episodes i myself said that like he looks like some kind of a ghost like you know appears suddenly and just goes away suddenly like it's like he it seems like as if he's a ghost i kind of thought that maybe he is a ghost or something but turns as, as he said like turns out that's not the case he actually confirmed it that he's not a ghost he's alive everyone is alive here but the things that he's using and like you know he can he can he has the ability to like you know uh make you know to use the ghosts of things like okay just a minute um ghost of a room okay i live in secret in this ghost of a room ghost of a room no jolene he and i are alive we aren't ghosts uh, you can touch okay the ghost of objects prison cost fire huge renovation okay um room burned down in that fire room belongs in the past okay yeah there you go so so he can basically use i think not use but man not manipulate the past even he can he can bring out the ghosts of things so basically since this place was destroyed and renovated uh, if you actually like you know kind of uh, think of the room to be a person it would be like the person died so just like how people have like you know can become ghosts and stuff maybe the room also became a ghost and that's what he can like you know bring out he can bring out the ghosts of things so i'm guessing um I don't know like maybe maybe like take a glass you know like you you have a glass with you uh it suddenly falls and it shatters you know and it's destroyed and then it's taken away you know it's like it, it's taken away and completely disposed of uh he can probably like you know bring back the ghost of that glass maybe it's something like that correct me if i'm wrong you know so it's something like that like just like how people die and may you know like we, we call the like, you know the remnants of their soul or whatever as ghosts or spirits similar to that it, 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 he does these things to a non-living object so okay makes sense all right it's still not clear but i think it is something like that okay and then we meet um, a weather report as well okay and that really makes sense like I, as i said like you know i kind of felt a little ghostly feeling with him all the time he kind of popped out it makes sense why now because he's basically using ghosts of stuffs <laughs> that's why she, he can suddenly like you know appear and go back or something like that okay and uh, now the thing with weather report he does not have his memory which obviously means that white snake did something to it and like 
one thing's weird why do, wait why does he why is he on his tiptoes like okay he has no memory he's serving a six year sentence he has a habit of oh habit of walking on tiptoes okay it's not that he always walks i guess <laughs> all right okay so yeah so he just wants to find out what's happening now i was also thinking why are they helping jolene now emporio kind of answers that question he thinks that something will happen if jotaro is brought back you know like, like i don't know like some kind of array of hope or something that's why he wants to help him out same with weather report because he wants to see what like you know the enemy is trying to do with the jotaro stand obviously he wants his memory back as well but that's an additional reason for him to help them out we still don't know about the other guy the pink haired guy i think that was a guy yeah i think so um so okay all right so now here's the thing the thing that uh, um emporio says it's quite inter not interesting but it is very like you know what can i say like i should have thought about that before is that pales the uh, white snake could keep and like you know like obviously he is part of the uh of, like an you know, official staff of the prison and he has stand ability so he can easily keep a track on what everyone's talking in their phones and stuff you know so like it was a very risky decision for jolene to actually talk like that in, in the phone so yeah like i realized that kind of a little bit late that yeah he could probably eavesdrop on it so like obviously because of that like you know like uh, i'm guessing he dispatched the 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 other guy jumping jack i think that was the name of his stand um so <clears throat> uh, but he wasn't able like to actually know what jolene was talking about he he just realized that jolene was probably talking with someone that's why he dispatched the guy because as jolene says that if he realized what was happening and you know what the actual deal was the speed banking foundation is going to come in the courtyard this that you know if he knew that he would actually put uh like you know like a, like you know lay a trap in the courtyard not here so he does not know what's happening but he knows something is happening that's why he dispatched jumping jack i guess and uh, yeah that's why what jumping in jack is trying to gather and also he he's probably trying to kill off jolene as well and get you know, like, you know take back the stand disc so all right so that was that and then we meet uh, uh what was his name i don't think they mentioned then i think they mentioned their name in the in that scene you know the transition scenes i don't i can't find that portion currently Okay, no, here it is. Okay, uh, stand name Jumping Jack Spark, Stand Master Lang Wrangler. Okay, okay, Wrangler Lang Jumping Jack. Okay, so yeah, uh, Lang, I think that, that's his, yeah, that's his name. So he was dispatched, and we kind of get to see what he is now. I don't know what's up with his legs and feet, like, so. Like, we still don't know what his ability can actually do. You know, like, he, it's understood that he can use his ability to make things zero gravity. And I'm not so sure whether that is connected to the little suction cup that he has in his legs and hand. Or maybe those two are unrelated. Who knows? Uh, you know, like, like I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll have to wait. I'm sure we'll get our confirmation. So, yeah, he kind of, uh, like, you know, I don't know, like, moves like a reptile. <laughs> because of the suction cups and his ability is able to make stuff zero gravity okay one thing um that that portion i'm, I'm still not sure what happened there you know when uh uh lang was uh following not following but chasing them and then emporio uses his ability to make like a hollow dimension behind the jacket or whatever that was you know hanging uh, what was that about what was was that also something related to the ghosts of the past because as i said i'm still not properly able to gauge what his stand power actually does it invokes the ghosts of the past of objects but the thing that we saw in behind the jacket it's like a dimensional portal or something so what was that about um i'm guessing that's also like okay 
Uh, okay, maybe he just opened a portal to that room again or something. I don't know. Something like that, I'm guessing. So, yeah. His, his stand is a little bit tricky to understand. But anyways, um, so yeah, uh, here he is on our tail, Lang is on our tail and Jolene goes to the prison guard who is guarding and um, okay, <laughs> I don't know why Jolene took so much time to actually understand. Like, you know what, the, that, that, that portion where the guy was pouring in cola and wait a minute. Oh. Okay, I think, wait a minute. No. No, wait, what's happening here? I don't understand. Why was the cola acting like that? Jolie never touched that cola before. Yeah, like, now it would make sense if that cola was the same cola that the gar girl, I think so, that the girl uh, put on top of uh, the thing, the payphone. But Jolie never touched that, did she? And even if she touched it, that happened a lot before um, uh, Jumping Jack, you know, used his spit on her, her. So why is that cola acting like that? It, it seemed as if the cola already was zero gravity from the beginning. But Jolie never touched it. Like, okay, here it is. We see the guy taking the cola, pulling the tab open, and it's like floating around yeah Jolie never touched it and even as i said even if she touched it before if that cola can is the same cola can that that girl put on top of the payphone at that time he like you know jumping jack did not spit and did not affect the stand like the, the stand was not activated so i don't know what was happening here this this portion is kind of confusing me like why was the cola floating around and another thing is weird is that Jolene doesn't even react to that. She's just, yeah, she says, I didn't touch it. And then she touches the plate and it makes sense. Like, you know, that the plate is also being, like, you know, is, is touching the uh, dollar. So that dollar also kind of, like, you know, floats. But the cola doesn't make sense. He never, she never touched it. This boat, and that's why, you know, at the beginning, I thought maybe it was weather report doing something to it. Because first of all, she seemed, seemed barely even affected. She, she was just looking at the cola floating and she was like, ah, this is normal, normal day life. That's why I thought maybe there was weather report stand and Jolene actually realized what was happening. That's why she did not react. But now that I see it again, that's not weather report's ability. That's the jumping jack's ability of making things zero gravity. Okay, this portion is kind of confusing me. I'm, I'm not sure what happened. And why Jolene did not react to the, um, you know, the, the cola floating. But anyways, and we can see that she touches the, uh, what's the name? Um, the, the plate, and the plate is also touching the, you know, uh, dollar. And it's also touching the cup, so everything starts floating around. You know, the first the thing that gets activated is the money. It gets you know starts floating around and starts sticking to her. And then yeah, obviously then the cup is also if you know uh, floating the, um, uh, the all the things. It's like stuck in in her uh, shoes stand disc also starts floating she starts floating after that so yeah like there's a few things that i'm thinking first of all i think maybe you can actually manually like, activate this stand or something it's not that if you like you know if it gets activated as soon as it touches something who knows like these things are like kind of bothering me another thing that's bothering me is if if, if the stand is really not manually active Available, activated. Sorry, uh, not manually activated. Why did Jolie not start floating from the moment the spit, you know, like touched her leg? Shouldn't she start floating from that moment? These things are actually a bit confusing now. Like now that I'm looking at it from, like, you know, little by little. While I was reacting to it, I did not think much because obviously I'm reacting to it. But now that I'm looking at that scene, these scenes again, these are actually bothering me. 
but anyways uh we like you know the thing that we can gather from here is obviously his uh stand is something related to gravity zero gravity whatever you she touches it starts floating zero gravity happens and you know if something like that thing that is zero gravity if it also touches something that also like you know spreads to that thing so that's why whatever jolene is touching it's getting like you know activated the zero gravity is getting activated all these things something like that i'm guessing and because it's zero gravity her stand cannot also do any, anything properly you know she's just using trying to use her stand his string her strings but because there is no up no down no gravity she cannot do anything the the strings are also floating you know in mid air so okay jumping jack comes in he grabs the stand tries to break it uh defying what white snake told him to do white snake told him to just grab the disc not break it off but i don't know why he did it but he tried to break it but obviously it's not working because yeah like the the stand is flexible i guess you know those discs he realizes that and tries to get away and like here again we see jolene using her um you know intelligence she uses the cup and the string uh, not cup sorry the glass and the string to use it like uh you know, those you know those makeshift telephone things you know the, with a cup and like you know wire attached to it he uses she uses that to try to uh inform weather report now i'm guessing weather report has good sensitivity in his, in his ears or something because jolene say that oh she, he cannot hear it it's too big of a distance but i guess since he can uh, manipulate weather maybe he did something and maybe he was able to listen to what Jolene was trying to say and she caught that she quickly came uh, he quickly came okay and yeah now here we see a few more applications of the uh, different um, stand abilities first of all the thing uh, the, the things that's that's moving you know in, in uh, jumping jack's hand that uses centrifugal force and since there's no gravity it never stops like interesting you know like it never stops stops and it's just keep it's, it keeps go moving on and on and on so and he uses his stand to make stuff i'm guessing zero gravity and kind of launch them using that uh spinning disc towards the enemy or something that's how he he like you know launch those screws or those junk you know towards a uh, weather uh, uh, weather uh, report uh, i think it is something like that you know like he used the centrifugal force to do that most probably just launched it towards him and he stopped it using his um those cloud things uh manipulating weather so he, i guess he can also manipulate air and like you know like make formed clouds and stuff i'm guessing and like we also saw him make little lightning out of that so that's kind of cool and we saw before how he's proficient with it he he played piano with it like that's some high level proficiency <laughs> so he can probably do a lot of things with it that's how he was able to stop those junk or those screws that were attacking him and yeah they were fighting and okay here's another interesting thing uh no gravity I'm guessing he did something to the uh, like you know uh, to the weather or the atmosphere there and his his hand started like you know the burning because of aerodynamic friction um aerodynamic obviously is like related to air friction okay I'm guessing something scientific is going on here um let me check the actual definition I know what aerodynamic friction is but I'm not so sure aerodynamic friction like friction related to air or something like that let me check uh one of the oh okay okay uh friction between the molecules of the air and the solid surface of something molecules of the air okay and the solid surface. okay makes sense so he probably manipulated the air there you know and since the molecules of air probably went like you know the friction with it and his hand surface was so great that it started flaming and burning his hand off at that moment and like you know i guess that's what weather report did at that moment manipulating the weather okay and 
he deactivates the zero gravity kind of like you know waxes wax weather reports hand with it ahead uh, with it and uh, yeah stuff happens like quite a few things happens here now he like the emergency thing gets starts activated he like you know he sees that it's too late he cannot get away from that part so he kind of backtracks and starts moving uh through like you know like past jolene and just goes through the other direction and okay so now what weather report does is he makes himself weightless and zero gravity by touching jolene and then he manipulates the weather i'm guessing yeah and launches them in like you know like just like a rocket in in, in front and yeah since it's zero zero gravity the gravity won't affect and, and they'll keep moving in that direction and i'm guessing weather report can probably uh change the direction using you know his stand ability and you know maybe slow it down maybe you know like change directions and like you know move up and down by using that and okay okay so it's probably something like that so they won't fall because there's no gravity and they can keep going in the direction something like that okay and that's where everything ends now here's like here's here's the thing this episode had quite a few ways of different ways of using the stand there are a lot of things that i actually have a little like you know doubt about first of all imperial stand what it actually is kind of i can kind of guess what it is you know vaguely but i'm not completely sure if what it is if i actually am guessing correctly bringing back back stuff from the past or not bringing back stuff from the past but like you know uh bringing the ghost back of something of non-living objects something like that that's his power um another thing that's actually confusing me is the gola why did it start floating before jolie never touched it and what's up with the stand ability of jumping jack because jumping jack spat on you know jolie a lot before but she didn't start floating up until that scene you know shouldn't she start floating from the beginning the moment it touched it so is his stand ability does it take a little bit of time to activate or something like is that what's happening that's another thing that's a little bit confusing i have a little doubt about um that whole section with the different applicability of the stands you know like the zero gravity thing uh, of like you know like him using centrifugal force that thing aerodynamic friction friction if i'm able to guess it correctly that's what happened she he 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 was punching but since weather report had his ability he could probably i guess i don't know like maybe manipulate the weather that weather at that moment and used aerodynamic friction to like you know like burn his hand completely it's probably something like that that i also have a little bit of doubt about and obviously the thing that they do after that you know the zero gravity and weather report both of their stands trying to like kind of combine and he uses that to propel themselves forward so these things you know these are the things that i currently have doubt about so yeah if, if there's an if, if if it's not any type of spoiler uh, like you know you can clarify me in the comment section especially that scene the cola why did it start floating that's that's the scene which is really bothering me I, i'm really not able to understand what happened there and why it happened like that but anyways so yeah that was it that was episode number 10 so if you guys enjoyed this video be sure to press the like button subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed and comment down below anything you want to say anything you want to let me know and i'll check them out so yeah that's it so thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys uh tomorrow i'll i'll, I'll most probably uh you know like upload another video jojo video tomorrow i'll definitely upload another one because i plan on ending this within the upcoming two days like you know tomorrow and the day after that i'll put two more videos so that's how like you know this is episode 10 11 and 12 i'll end this within this year so yeah so see you guys tomorrow with another jojo reaction uh so until then goodbye and have a nice day